A lot of the talk, and especially in recent months, has been about a women's tour de France. You've been quite clear on that. You think it's a great idea, but you're not necessarily sure the way the plan of attack at the moment is to be the same as the men. Just talk yeah. us through that. Well, just little things with that um, petition that got put out. It's like, if we run it at the same time as the men's, then we lose three other races that we've already got. And I think that's losing a lot of loyal sponsors. And the reason that women's cycling isn't as big is because we don't get the telecoverage. So I think that we should be grateful for the sponsors that we already have and like, not upset them. And I just feel that we need to work on what we've already got and build that, like try and get that on telly. Like It'd be amazing if we had the women's gyro on telly, for example. So I just think we need to work on what, we're, what we already have and then start looking at getting a women's tour of France. Because obviously they're throwing in a women's tour of Britain this, for next year as well. So that's a first stepping stone. I think if you throw in too many tours, the little races with the loyal sponsors are just going to disappear. You're here as an ambassador for Ride London. Why was it important for you to get involved in this event? Um, it's important for me to get involved with the potential Ride London because I want to get as many people riding their bikes as possible. And it's a mass participation event. And um, that's what it's about for me. And it's not just being a pro rider coming to ride the Grand Prix. It's about getting everyone of all abilities um, involved because obviously you've got the Prudential free cycle. So um, that's like literally anyone can come and do that. So um, that's obviously great for like younger kids because the roads are closed. And for them to be able to ride on closed roads around the, around the city centre, I think it's amazing. And then obviously you've got the Ride 100, where it's 100 miles. It's quite a testing event. So yeah, it's, it's just a mix of abilities and I just like that. When you heard they wanted to get 20,000 amateur cyclists riding 100 miles from London, <laughs> down to Surrey, then back up to London again. What was your initial reaction? <laughs> That's going to be tough. <laughs> Especially because, obviously, I didn't ride the road race at the Olympics, but I saw it on telly, and I thought, that is pretty hard. That's, that's for pro riders, <laughs> let alone people who don't really ride their bikes every day.